School Basketball on WCIA 3 is sponsored by Loman Ray Insurance Group and Illinois State University. Now, all the action and excitement on Full Court Friday. Welcome to Full Court Friday. I'm Brett Behrens, and for the second straight week, Illinois takes the floor on a Friday night. We've got 11 high school games coming up as scores are rolling at the bottom of your screen. But we will head to the title night for the Vermilion County Girls Tournament coming up. We start with the 17th ranked Alana, though, who are without Kofi Coburn at Maryland tonight. The seven foot center, a national player of the year contender in concussion protocol, did not make the trip to College Park. And the Alana got out to a pretty good start. Alfonso Plummer back in his group against Purdue gets going against the Terps as well. He had eight of the team's first 11 points. Then coming off the bench, Andre Curbelo back in his bag, throwing it up to Omar Payne on the lob. He throws it down, but Maryland takes a 22 21 lead. Terps hanging tough in large part thanks to Fats Russell. Gets the rebound, goes coast to coast, making it look easy. He had 15 on the night. The Illini get the lead back after a, a quiet few weeks. Coleman Hawkins comes on, makes an immediate impact, hits the corner three as Illinois regains the advantage. But it's a back and forth first half. Kudus Wehab gets the defense for the dunk, throws it down after the block to give the Terps the advantage, 37-35 at the break. Then, right out of the half, Trent Frazier gets on one of these patented heaters. He hits the three to give Illinois the lead back. Frazier finishes with 13, but Illinois could never really extend the lead. UM not done. Terps go on a 7-2 run, capped by this Julian Reese jumper. And then that's when Dante Scott turns it on. No stopping him down the stretch. He backs down Benjamin Bossman's Verdonk, who got the start and won for Scott. He had nine straight points and scores a career-high 25 as Illinois allows Maryland to go on an 11-0 run to end the game. And Maryland upsets the 17th ranked Illini 81 to 65. Here's WCI 3's Andy Olson with more from College Park. Illinois had an all American sized hole in the middle of the court Friday night that became incredibly evident in the final eight minutes as Maryland's Dante Scott took over. Missed shots down the stretch and trouble in the defensive paint added up to a 24 7 Terps run to end the game. Outplayed us, outfought us, outcompeted us. We just for whatever reason, didn't have a ton of fight tonight. Um, that's uh, uh, disappointing. We got to play harder. It's pretty simple. That's kind of our identity. <clears throat> you know, it's not simple, but that's our identity, and that's what we, uh, you know, go off of. Alfonso Plummer had one of his best halves of the season in the first, leading the Illini with 14 points. The Derps still had the lead at halftime, and a strong opening few minutes of the second put Illinois in front. But Maryland limited Plummer and the Illini behind the arc after that. The team made just one of their last 13 three-pointers. Like one-on-one -on -one stuff. I feel like um, they got good guys. Um, they can play one-on-one, -on -one, just spread the, uh, the court and just trying to score over our guys. So I feel like um, we got to get better on one-on-one -on -one defense. Illinois looked like a completely different team without Kofi Coburn. His future availability wasn't made any clearer by Brian Underwood after the game, as there's no timetable for the big man to return. I have none. None. I, just, I know he's not available today, and, and the, the way the protocol works it's it's a sequence deal with, with a lot of steps this is illinois first back-to-back -back big 10 losses for the first time in over a year it drops them to six and two and for the first time this season they don't have at least a share of the lead in the conference and they need to regroup quick one of the conference's best teams michigan state comes to champaign on tuesday reporting for your Illini nation andy olson wcia three sports andy thanks michigan state about to close out wisconsin on the road tonight if you want to hear more from the Illini rewatch head Coach Brad Underwood's postgame press conference. We streamed it live earlier on our digital channels. It's available on demand now on our social media channels. You can also listen to a longer form breakdown of the game and what went wrong for the Illini. Andy Olson there at Maryland will have more on what he saw courtside. It'll be on the 3 1 podcast available here coming up a little bit later tonight on your favorite podcast.